Hello, I'm going to show how you can create tools for everyday development tasks in an agile way. Consider as an example your boss asking you to create a code comment spell checker for your continuous integration pipeline. Oh, and by the way, he tells you, let's have it running tomorrow morning and I'm sure you can implement it while coming to work. It won't take long. Okay, in the words of Barney Stinson, challenge accepted. First, let's consider how not to do it. Here is a published description of how a phonetic spell checker was implemented. They went through a project architecture, a development plan, package recomposition, and activity diagrams. The Agile way is different. We want early, continuous, frequent delivery, and we also want to target simplicity, so maximize the amount of work not done. I'll do this using the command line Unix tools, which are known for their unusual simplicity, power, and elegance. I'm going to build the spell checker step by step. I will combine commands into a pipeline so that the output of each command feeds the input of the next one. Let's start with the first step. We want to isolate the code from the comments. I can do that on the Unix command line by using the C preprocessor and passing here I'm using it as an example a Java source code file from the JDK and if I run it through the preprocessor you see that the comments are removed and I only have the code. Now, everything that's not code is comment. So if I run the difference program, diff, with input, the output of the preprocessor and the original source code file, I see the differences that are mainly the comments. We saw earlier that the comments are introduced with the greater than symbol. So by running grep to select a regular expression that is the beginning of the line with the greater than symbol, I can isolate just the comments. My next step is to split comments into words. For that, I run the tr program, which complements the everything that's not a character with a new line. This puts a word on every line and nothing else and removes everything else. Then I want to get a list of words that are in the comments. And for that, I use a sort command with a unique option, which tells it to have each word appear only once. Finally, I run this list, unique list of words that I compare it with the sorted dictionary that exists on my system. And I print only the words that are not in the dictionary, which means the spelling errors. Mission accomplished. There are things we can do in addition to that. So package it as a script, ignore code identifiers, handle C and C++, which have preprocessor directives in them, adjust for plural and past tense, identify the errors, by highlighting them and propose corrections. Some of them are quite simple to implement. However, for all of them, the Yagni principle applies. You ain't gonna need it. So you first build something simple and then you see if you need further bells and whistles. What lessons can we learn from this example? Lesson one, Unix command line programs are remarkably effective for tool building. Lesson two, build in small, simple, iterative steps. And lesson three, Create agile tools that you can easily combine with others, not monolithic applications. Thank you for your interest in agile development tooling.